Rightio folks, welcome back to Going Bush. I apologise for looking ridiculous, but it pays to be safe. And Nick, we are in a, a very dangerous spot. This is a new logging coop. It is, Hardy, and we're here to demonstrate the story of seeds yes. and how it applies to forestry in Tasmania. What you may not be aware is when a coop is cut down, yes. generally speaking, that coop is reseeded with seeds from the plants that were here originally. It's Correct. an interesting story. These are the seeds. This is basically where it starts. We've got um, our contractors out there and they'll log a coop. We'll get word from them that there may be seed on the coop. Um, then we'll go out, we'll, um, um, we'll have a look, see how much is there, determine whether um, it's good enough for our seed contractors to come out and collect on a contract basis or whether it's we can come and get it ourselves. Once the seeds are collected in the big bags, they are transported to one of two seed kilns in the state where the scientific part of the forest regeneration begins. First part is heating them up in a kiln, just like a fire would do in the wild. So Carlton, this is the result from a kilning session last night, 16 hours in there? Yes, 16 hours overnight and about 200 kilos of seed. So what you've got left here is uh, seed and a bit of debris. Once we clean that, about only 3% of it will be useful. And that goes in the cold store? We'll clean it into the cold store and a sample used for testing. One of the most important parts of the whole operation is to keep the genetic balance in the forests. Therefore all the collected seeds which come from a coop are to be replanted in the same coop. For regeneration forestry it's essential that we put back uh, seed which comes precisely from where that harvest is. So uh, our standards um, have us return at least 10%, a minimum 10% of seed directly from that harvesting coop. And then the further 90% comes from the region around it. So a zone uh, that, that ensures that we've got the right genetics for the area and also that the seed comes from an area which has got uh, the same coldness and the same sort of uh, wet um, characteristics. So we're trying to maintain the same gene pool. So once the seeds have been killed and collected, then a small sample of that yes. batch hardy is brought here to the germination room where mm. they're tested to see how they go. This is where the science comes into it, Nick. Seeds are a very valuable commodity. It costs a lot of money to go out there in the field and collect them and then kiln them and then keep them in cold storage for anything up to a year. So some seeds grow better than others. So mm. here we find out which ones grow better and that way we know exactly how much seed to put back on the coop. We take samples of uh, every batch of seed that comes through so we know quite precisely how many trees we expect to get from each kilo of seed we collect. Replanting takes place after coops are burnt which is usually around April or May. First of all we get a prescription as soon as the uh, coop is ready to go we mix the seed that day and it's sent out the following day. Generally on large areas it's done uh, by helicopter. A slow moving helicopter distributes the seed in a fairly accurate area. If it's small areas where we're just doing uh, partial um, harvest, it's generally done by hand because it's small enough areas we can go back through. So there's a couple of ways. It depends on uh, how the site's been treated. The science has become more and more involved and we've become more precise with the way we're handling seed. Um, so I think you'd find now that regeneration uh, forestry is probably a far more uh, scientific and precise act. So we're getting very close to uh, the, the population of trees and the genetics of that back in the forest. Now it's time to look at another of Southern Cross Television and Forestry Tasmania's Community Assist Grants. This week it's the Rotary Club of Hobart who are both helping young artists emerge and farmers in need. The Rotary Club of Hobart hosts an annual art show. It's for local artists that are emerging. We give them an opportunity to display their work for the community to come and appreciate and purchase. With the grant we were able to use the funds to hire the venue which meant the money that we raised through the sales and the artists' the small exhibit fees, we could give back to the community and we managed to raise a record profit last year of about $13,000, which then went back to the drought relief for the Midlands farmers. We hold it at the Boardwalk Gallery at the Risk Point over the Mother's Day weekend. Uh, we start on Friday and we open with a cocktail party and then it's open to the, pro to the public on Saturday and Sunday. For more information on Community Assist, visit the Forestry Tasmania website.
Stay with us after the break on Going Bush, a new tourism development in the Tarkine.